Hey everyone, welcome to episode three of Geared Up. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the 2018 Yamaha XSR 700. You guys have probably seen more of this bike on the channel recently, and that's because I recently picked it up from Josh Heron. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this bike has to offer and what it's like to ride the Yamaha XSR 700. In order to keep this simple, we're gonna talk about three main points that stood out to me most after riding this bike for about a month. From the start, the XSR series seemed to be all about finding the sweet spot between high performance and comfortability as a commuter. Inside the bike is a liquid-cooled 689cc parallel twin motor, which has a significant amount of low-end power but gives you a real boost around 5,500 RPM. While researching, I learned that Yamaha designed the XSR 700 using the exact same engine, frame, and suspension as the Yamaha MT-09. The only thing that essentially separates the two is the unique retro look of the XSR, which brings us to our next topic, style. Despite their similarities, it's not hard to spot Yamaha's initial goal of designing a modern vintage looking motorcycle. The main components such as the headlight, taillight, and LCD display all feature a round design, which really seems to complete the look of this bike. The overall look of this bike definitely turns some heads, especially paired with the Graves exhaust. However, I feel that Yamaha left a few things a bit incomplete looking. Yamaha really hit the nail on the head with the vintage look, but cleaning up the wiring at the front of the bike really would have helped their goal of building a modern vintage motorcycle. Small details can go a long way, especially when the bike is already so raw. Last but definitely not least is comfortability. When I first picked up the bike, I was worried that it may not fit well. I'm taller than most riders standing at six foot eight, so not only is comfortability a concern, but safety is as well. I'm still learning proper body positioning, so ensuring that I fit even remotely well is a big concern for me. And honestly, it should be a big concern for a majority of you guys as well. Given my height, I'd give the comfortability of this bike an eight out of 10. The seat is actually very comfortable and has proven to withstand multiple hours of riding without giving me any form of discomfort. Despite the lack of a windscreen, this bike cuts through wind on the freeway very well, however, is the reasoning behind not giving a 10 star rating. In conclusion, I'd rate this bike a solid 9 out of 10. With the XSR 700 putting out 73.8 horsepower, 50.2 pound-feet of torque, having a wet weight of 410 pounds, Priced at $8,500 for a 2018 version seems like a fair deal to me. For roughly $1,000 more, you get the XSR 900, which has a larger engine offering more power, however, a slightly heavier setup with 20 additional pounds. All specs aside, this bike is a serious blast to ride, and with the right exhaust setup, you can definitely turn some heads. If you want to keep up with the content, I highly recommend subscribing to the channel. I'll be posting a lot more content with the XSR 700 since Josh is letting me use it. And I'm now currently working on a moto vlogging setup that's going to allow me to create a lot more content for you guys and engage with you on a whole other level. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Nick Vanderbilt, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Don't, don't, don't.